Shut up and sit down. Hello YouTube, I am the Cyber Roof Guru, welcome to my channel, thank you for watching. Uh, this is a quick follow up from the uh, February unboxing video from Maker Geeks. Uh, I've uh, tried to print their fidgety um, part uh, using the PLA that was provided, this green, uh, nuclear green PLA. I've now printed I think eight different copies of this at different sizes um, and it's just simply not working out I cannot get the bearings to fit properly no matter how I print these um, and so I switched to the black PLA that I got in the last maker box um, it's exhibiting the same problem this uh, and I printed uh, I've been printing almost exclusively in PETG for the last couple of months so I thought maybe hey I'm just losing my brains don't know how to print PLA anymore <laughs> so I switched to the PETG uh, which I printed this at a hundred um, uh, percent and uh, thinking that, that 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 should be spot on and then when I uh, actually let me do show you here um, so when I printed it a hundred measured it uh, came in at uh, 21.89 21.9 which just is a little bit uh, too small so I printed it at 101 um, I was able to get the bearing in with a plug. Uh, I'll show you here. Um, I did clean this up just a little bit. Um, but you can see there, 21.93. Uh, let me straighten it out here. It's not really uh, straight. Um, so, yeah, 21.93 um, on the outside. The uh, What I found is the inside is a little bit bigger than the outside. I don't know why. Uh, but you can see that outside there is uh, 22.03, um, depending on where you measure it, how you measure it. So the PETG at 101 works um, fine. Um, the last time I uh, printed PETG with a bearing, uh, it, it the bearing just slid in and out. I, I printed it 100%, no worries. Um, so I don't know if I'm over extruding or if it's too hot or look, I, I really don't know. So I'm looking for your input. Um, if you have any comments or suggestions like what I might be doing wrong, like uh, you know, I contacted the company and they responded very, very quickly. Uh, Maker Geeks, they were awesome about their response, but uh, they said, hey, we printed a whole bunch of these and they work fine for us, um, which was great for them, <laughs> not so great for me. Didn't really give me any suggestions on how to change it, uh, whether it's, you know, printing at a different temperature, or printing at um, slower speed, faster speed, different extrusion multiplier, I don't know. So this is just printed at, uh, I did do a 20% a, a extrusion multiplier because uh, the push is under extruding by 20%. Um, I normally do 25%, uh, uh, which is, uh, I did this with 20% as well, but all the rest of the prints have been at 25%. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I'm looking for suggestions and comments below. Feel free to throw them in the, uh, in the bin and I'll consider it. Um, I last thing I want to do is make a couple more of these. Like I said, I already got uh, I think eight or nine, um, which are all too too small or too big. I can't find that kind of sweet spot. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. As always, if you don't like it, a thumbs up, and we'll catch you soon. Thanks.